Thank you to my Patreon patrons and YouTube members. Your support keeps the lights on. If you want to access extra perks like early video access, special emotes and badges, a lounge area in the Discord server, or the ability to choose the next project setting, check the links in the description below. Now, let's get on with the video. What's going on, my kitsunes? It's your favorite great Fox Fox, and come back at you with a brand new episode of City Skylines 2 Fort St. Glacey. And in today's brand new episode, we're going to be finishing off the, well, not really finishing off the downtown area, but kind of designating the end of I-595, which is kind of a bit of a change of plans for the first highway, because I kind of realized 595 was running way too close to the coast for comfort, so I kind of modified my plans a little bit. We're already building both I-95 and the Florida Turnpike anyway, so I'm not really too worried about this, both of which are probably going to be largely suburban networks. 595 is more meant to connect you to downtown, although I'm pretty sure there's already a 595 in Miami, I believe, so we might have to pick a different number. Maybe 795 or, no, 795 also exists, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I 995, there we go. I think that's what we're going to be looking for. But for now, we're going to name the episode the end of I-595, because that's what I've already got on the thumbnail, that's what I've already got on a few other things, too, so I think it works just fine. But anyways, as you can see at the start of this episode, yeah, the coastline was broken. So I actually had to go in and fix that. I don't know if it was the recent, um, what was it, content creator packs, that's what it was. It wasn't region packs, because there's a few more region packs that are planned, but I don't think they're, um the first thing on Colossal Order's mind at the moment. I think right now they're trying to get some actual paid DLCs out. I know they already did this technically with the um, Beach Properties DLC, but damn did that one feel rushed out here. In fact, so much so that Paradox eventually just decided to cave and, you know, make it a free update instead, which I find particularly an interesting decision, but definitely I wouldn't be shocked if that's lowered some people's faith in City Skylines 2 going forward. I know a lot of people are already giving up on this game. I'm not doing it just yet. These content creator packs are actually pretty damn good so far. What I really want, though, is the asset editor, which is apparently still in a closed alpha test at the moment. So, um, yeah, cannot wait to see custom assets actually make their way to this game. That absolutely will be an awesome day, and hopefully we get it at some point next year, but we might get Project Zomboy Build 42 beforehand at this rate. Like, that's just crazy that a sole developer might be able to push... Well, not really a sole developer, but definitely an indie dev, I would think, would be able to push something like that out a little bit faster. And, but anyways, right about now, we are currently working on the area that will eventually become home to the server farm. You can tell I really didn't have much of an idea with what I was working with at the moment. But eventually I do kind of get the hang of things. I do put down a server farm, some apartments, and as I mentioned before, the um, end of I-595, and a few offices too, because you can never go wrong with some offices in such a large city like this. I'm just gonna be that guy, I'm just gonna say you can never go wrong with it. Yes, I'm also using the traffic mod too, to kind of like, you know, what is it? Create, I'm trying to think here, prioritized intersections, that's what I'm looking for, because I don't want a traffic light for a side street to a avenue, effectively. That doesn't sound like a very good idea. Another thing that definitely sound, doesn't sound like a good idea is using this, um, using these two buildings here, because as you can see briefly, the fence, and it does take an embarrassing amount of time for me to notice, but the fence is actually partially onto the sidewalk and onto the road. Yeah, we do fix that, by the way. But these two apartment buildings actually did go pretty well together. I think they're the only growable residential buildings that get placed the whole way through. Did also decide to use the gas station or petrol station or whatever you call it from the UK pack out here too. I'm just going to call it the petrol station because that's what the game itself calls it. Because it is again supposed to be a UK DLC pack. But <laughs> don't be surprised if I use the two terms interchangeably because obviously I am not... I'm from the States out here so... Yeah, don't be surprised if I use the two terms interchangeably. But anyways, right about now we're currently working on some more... What is it again? Like, services? Yes, yeah, services, that's the word I'm looking for. And I'm also using extra caution not to detail too much around here. Why? Because I've generally had this game completely crash to the desktop while in the middle of detailing. I was trying to make a parking lot in a previous episode, and... So far, that's been the only crash in the entire run of Port St. Glacey. I am getting better at avoiding it, which is awesome news. It means we can actually start to stand a chance to get some projects actually completed, because that is a that is probably a big gripe that a lot of people have with my channel right now, is I rarely ever finish what I start, and that is a huge problem for me. I, I do want to, at the very least, try to start finishing what I start. We are getting pretty close with Kino Coast. In fact, we'll be even closer at the time of recording this by the end of the night because we got another episode of that coming at that point. 
And again, that one's addressed to my members and Patreon patrons who are able to access this video early. But obviously, we're getting very close to completing some of our projects already. I think Protogen Island is also getting close as well. We're about to have, like, what, two-thirds of this main city already done? And that's, like, the hardest part of the journey right there. Once we have two-thirds of the main city done, that's gonna be pretty much it. But I'm gonna be focusing largely on the eastern sections on Monday night as well, too. Although, for most of you, it probably is gonna be Monday when you see this. Because, again, members only until Monday at around noon. So... Again, if you want to get early access out here too, um, go ahead and pick yourself up either a YouTube membership or a Patreon membership or something like that. And I'm actually still thinking about releasing Patreon only, like a Patreon only series. I'm trying to come up with ideas for that, but I don't want to paywall any of my projects. I do have a few ideas on the board, like, you know, an in-depth showcase, like I think like a much longer version of the YouTube shorts showcases that we used to do on this channel like a full video format of it that would only be available on Patreon or YouTube members. Kind of like, you know, a look back on a project as we get ready to announce the next one. Or better, there's like so many ideas that I have right now. I don't know. Let me know your guys' thoughts and ideas in the comments section below. And obviously, you know, if you're a member or a patron, definitely let me know if that's something you would definitely want to see right there. But anyways, right now we're currently working on the highway over here. And we are going to connect this to... The highway over here now i'm thinking of names for the highway right now i'm trying to come up with a few ideas i'm almost wanting to uh, name it melbourne highway or something like that the avenue right near the atlantic ocean over here because remember we're on the atlantic coast of florida time eister is working on the gulf coast i figured i'd give <laughs> it's actually funny because i'm probably so small the guy probably doesn't even know who i am here but i'm working on the atlantic coast because of a project that he started over on the gulf coast i think he's actually trying to inspire it from saint petersburg I've got mine with Port St. Lucie, which often I do mess up with the city name with because, you know, Port St. Glacie and Port St. Lucie both sound incredibly similar. But yeah, I mean, definitely something I would love to do out here. I completely forgot what the hell I was saying. Why do I do that so often? You know what? You're welcome. You're welcome. That's just how my brain operates. It just turns into a pile of mush sometimes. But anyways, um, back on the topic of our build on the Atlantic coast out here, be and actually, if you do follow that avenue, I just realized it probably would take you up to Melbourne if you follow. It probably would be signed there. And south, of course, we all know damn well would be signed from Miami. I don't know right now. I don't know the geography of the coastal regions of Florida very well. I really only know the Orlando area, and that's because I'm really planning to move over there at some point. Hopefully sometime very, very soon out here. But nevertheless, you know... It's like a whole complicated mess on its own. But anyways, we're kind of finishing up this I-595 ending point. It did take a couple of minutes for me to actually figure out exactly how I wanted to do this. Eventually, I did decide to cave and bring it down to four lanes. But that road builder with the six lane highway was so cool. It's a darn shame the roundabout wasn't working. Why was it not working the entire time? But anyways, we are getting pretty close to the end of this video. If you did go on to enjoy, as usual, you know what to do. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye for now. And have a great day or night. No matter where in the world you may be. Jumping off to cinematics now.